Hey everybody, I'm out here right now in the shop and I'm doing a repair on a DeWalt battery. I was out on the job site and I figured, wait a minute. I've never shown people what this thing can do. And it's dirty. Now pardon me for that. It's covered in dirt. Um, but this is called a Browie. Now, you know, they always got weird China names, and I want you to look what it comes with. It comes with a 30-watt solar panel. I've seen guys show these, and um, they're bulletproof. Now, this one here, it is dirty, and pardon me for that, because it rides behind the seat of my truck. So, um, it's about the toughest thing I've ever had. I actually had this thing on the tailgate, and I sent a kid over. I said, go move my truck. we got to get... Uh, the rails out for solar you know and so he takes off driving with it and it flips right off the tailgate now what we use this for is for doing things like i'm doing right now um this thing is the handiest now it's 600 watts so this will put out 600 watts it is 50 amp hour battery inside of it so about 650 watt hours and it proved itself without a question no problem running a um one of these freezers um in fact uh not this one i got a lot of these dc freezers sitting here there's three of them well, i'll have another one that's a bogada or whatever they call it um 42 quart or something like that pretty good size and it ran this thing for almost two days uh before it needed to be plugged in right here to the truck and then i remembered wait a minute oh freak man i got the solar panels you get solar panels with these you can get the solar panel kit and this is about 450 bucks or 500 bucks for, for all this i'll put a link below the video to it and y'all go take a look it is a browie that is the here there's the name right there and uh, it says it's 600 watts but man i have run 750 watt tools off of this i i, I don't know i have a a uh uh, what do you call it a, uh, a harbor freight half inch electric impact and it peaks at about 1100 watts right on that now we use it for when we put the big clamps down uh, for the legs that go on the solar arrays because i install the solar stuff and when we put the clamps down um, it's running a seven six uh, i'm sorry a um, 11 16 bolts and pretty good pretty hefty and uh, when it goes in there, you have to have a lot of torque. So I have electric impact and I plug it into this. Now, of course, we only have about 12 of them per array to do and it, it don't fuss. So it runs up about 700 watts, 780, something like that. Never faults, never has a problem. Um, it will pull the power out of it, but I leave it sitting all the time with the panel. So it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but by the time you go get something off the trailer and you bring it back over, it's trickling that power back in it. And that's cool as hell. I don't have a lot of times for this, for setting this up. So this is really cool. Now, this is just, Kira just cleaned this thing up. That is one of them. They, I don't know what which one you'll get, but the ones that they choose are really good quality. And they are the true five bus bar. They're not, a, I mean, this is not a joke. These are 25, 25, all 25 watt panels and it's really light i mean really freaking light it comes with you know all the miscellaneous cables and parts look at this just crap load and um this is the one i always use so i typically plug it into the truck and this thing here this little browery let me look i'll give you all some more views of it um right now i'm running the power supply and i'm putting a top charge in these batteries because the bms which is real warm right now uh it went bad and i'll show you what i do here look at this this is, look, I just dumped that. It's a whole pile. This one here is for the smaller DeWalt tools. See that? Smaller DeWalt tools. Um, these are for, I, I blow these things up, guys. All right, I run side grinders and stuff, and I, and I have a tendency to blow up their little BMS. And so these are for the uh, Black & Deckers. See, I think, that, what does it say? That's yeah, for, I don't know if it says it on there, but that's a Black & Decker. So you have got a little Black & Decker 20-volt battery or Craftsman 20-volt battery or uh, Porter Cable 20-volt battery. These right here. Um, if y'all are interested in that, I'll post that down below the video in the pin link, you know, right below the video where the first comment's at. I'll post a link to those things. They're cheap as hell. I mean, I, I get like six of these for, I don't know, 18, 20 bucks. And it's really, really freaking easy. So you see, really easy. And they're very accurate and they work good. 
So I'm just charging that up right now to see if, the, if I got a bad cell. And that's the way to do it. So you just give it a little bit here. I'm going to jack the current just a little bit on it. Get it back up to a good watt and a half close to it. I like to run about a half amp into that. So we're charging that battery back up to 23 volts. And, you know, there it is. But this little Browry, I never thought when I was first coming out here and hooked it up, I'm like, okay, she's fully charged. I'll just use her. I left her sitting in the seat of the truck. This sat in the seat of my truck with the panel up and charged itself. It wasn't even, wasn't even plugged into that. And it was at about 50% and it just sat in there. It got cold outside. It got down to, it won't charge at low temperatures. So it got down to like 17 degrees. I'm in the hill country of Texas and man, that's like being in Alaska to me now. So like back, back in Idaho. Um, but this thing here shut itself off, didn't try to charge and then it come back on. Um, right when it got about 38 degrees, um, the little the, it lit up again. So, but you can look at that 100% battery right now. It's putting out 16 watts, and it is dead on accurate. Here, let me show you this. Here's my here's my soldering iron. Look for you guys. Look at this Radio Shack. Yeah, I'm an old schooler, and so we're gonna take this 25 watt soldering iron, and I'm gonna plug it in. So here, let me uh, kill this. Here, pull power. Boom. Dead. There's my setting on my voltage. You, I was low. There we go. I'll go up 22. There we go. Right there. Now I'll turn that back off. All right. So that goes off. Let it die. Whee! And then you'll see zero wattage. But you want to see something. I have never bought a power station, anything like this thing. It's like a little freaking suitcase. Now, now I'll give you this. It's heavy. It's not light, um, but it's not inconvenient. So I'd, I'd say somewhere in the, in the range of about, I don't know, 18 pounds. So... But you can carry it anywhere, and it will run. It will run one of those Tosat um, air conditioners, one of them high efficiency air conditioners. Now it won't do it for more than an hour, but it'll do it. So it's impressive inductive load. It'll start it real easy now. So I'm going to plug this in, um, and I'll give you. You'll watch this, and you'll see the wattage. So plugged in, and that's a 25 watt soldering iron. Okay. 26 watts right now it's pulling 26 watts now once it warms up a little bit it's just pulling the load because it's trying to get hot once it heats up it, well the hell there you go it'll drop down to the accuracy of 25 watts i've never seen one do this now this one here um i have with that little freezer pulled because the freezer starts at a 13 and a half amps and this says it's 10 amps but it didn't shut off so you can hit the DC button and you'll see them all light up. See, you have two outputs right here and they're good for 10 amps together. So don't, don't run. You can run one out five amps, the other one out five amps. You're fine. But otherwise it will turn them off. And this one here though, 13 amps, it, it never, never balked what whatsoever. Um, I don't know how long it would do it, but the startup on that compressor is about 13, three or four seconds, and it didn't care. It showed it that it did it, but it didn't care. But this little Browry, I'll tell you what, man, if you're living in an apartment, if you're in a high rise, these kind of things are what you want. You get one of them in that solar panel and all the food that's probably worth four or $500 in your refrigerator will never go bad. Common freaking sense. All right, common sense. Um, I'm using it right now for this because, well, I brought it in. I set it on the table. Um, told Kira she could use it for her little mixer thing that she was going to do for her plant mix stuff, and she didn't use it, so I'm using it. But I'm using it from Sun Power that fully charged that thing back up, just sitting in the seat of my truck with the sun coming in the windshield. And probably for only three hours a day. It was in there two weeks. But just three hours a day of sunlight with that thing being, you know, pretty much dead. Um, I'm impressed with it. I'm impressed with how durable this is. And like I said, you see all the freaking dirt on it. I have carried this thing and used this thing and cycled this thing probably, I don't know. I don't, I've never let it completely go dead. It was down it, with the 20% down there kind of coming on and off. But I probably got down 10% a few times. And... I run standard tools on it, electric tools. I mean, you, you can't run like a big 13 amp skill saw, um, but you can easily run a seven amp grinder, no problem whatsoever. And as fast, this thing freakishly charges your uh, 
fast charges your tools and stuff like that if you have a dc to whatever you know tool charger which i have one and it charges it faster than plugging it in on ac for some reason i don't know why but i want to give you guys that little browie browie and you know all these things got goofy names i mean why don't they just call this you know suit power or something like that because like a little suitcase you know wouldn't that be cool but check it out i put a link down there at the bottom of it its performance is impressive um i could probably here unplug that i can probably show you here let me grab a drill all right so let me just grab a regular drill now i use this one a lot this one as you can see still has the bit jammed up in it this is a uh 5 16 bit because our concrete anchors that we use putting in the solar arrays and i'll show you i carry this right over just just boom right over set it down don't have to have extension cords or nothing and boom I take and put that thing on a piece of wood. All right, so I'll just take a simple piece of wood because I don't want to put a hole in my concrete. And I'm going to show you here. We're going to bore it with now. This is a 5 16 masonry bit. And we're going to bore that wood, but I'm going to show you the amp draw that it's going to get. So, not too bad of a problem. Just about hit the concrete with that sucker. So, this thing here will handle all you need for tools like that and doing job sites like that. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to what I'm doing. I just want to give you all a little idea of how cool this freaking thing is. And, yeah, I've used the hell out of it. And so far, it's done everything I asked. It's, it's better than what they... They claim. I'm shocked at it. It comes with everything, though. You know, chargers and all kinds of crap. And, yeah, you know, I kind of nicked my hands up on the job the other day. But y'all stay tuned. We're going to be doing a video. I'll probably do a video on that, showing you how to repair that. And that'll be sitting in the background again. Uh, next video. All right, you guys be good. And look at my beautiful guitar that come from Amy. Amy and her friends sent me this manufactured in china by hand but it's a look at that look at that it's a fire pit flames it's a fire pit all stainless handmade coolest thing in the world so don't know if you can buy one of those but we're going to show it one day in a fire with a fire in it i hope uh i might even put a propane burner in that thing that'd be cool wouldn't it all right guys y'all be good stay tuned more to come uh kira's got a video coming up a um what is that lawn master chipper cheapest one you can buy they're they're all the same what the hell all right 